Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen, and I'm Larry, the Pen Bug Guy. I just want to do a brief review on an already known, well-known fountain pen, the Vanscotti Van Gogh. The pen is the Vanscotti Pollard Willows. Uh, I've done the review on the Iris, which is right here. But just in case I have any new subscribers that aren't aware of uh, this pen or just have heard briefs here and there about the pen, let me briefly just run you through this pen real quick. Here is the Pollard Willows, a beautiful fountain pen. And uh, the material used on the pen is uh, resin. And the uh, hardware on the pen is done in palladium. And the clip has the Van uh engraved in it, which is really cool. It's on both sides of the clip. And the cap is magnetic. So it's really a, a real neat fountain pen. It has a stainless steel medium nib in it, and it's a cartridge or converter. So how much do these little babies cost? Well, they can run you anywhere as high as $300 or more, or sometimes you can get them for $175 to $250. It just depends. You have to shop around. The, uh, the, the dimensions of this pen close just like you see it here is 139 millimeters and the barrel length is 124 millimeters the postic length when it is posted because it does post as you see right there is 159 millimeters the width of the barrel is 9 millimeters the weight of the pen with the cap on it's 33 G's and it comes with a two year warranty and of course these pens are made in Italy. So this is the pen and uh, now this pen did not come with a converter. I just put one in. It came with a uh, cartridge. So the cartridge for some reason wasn't working well on it, it would fall out. So I don't know if they sent the wrong cartridge or, or what, but I found a standard international converter, so here it is. But it does have some ink left in it, so let's take a write on the paper and see how this pen writes. Now remember, there should just be only enough ink in the feed, hopefully, to do the writing. And it is a real nice, fine, smooth nib on it. Not extremely wet, but then remember, it's almost out of ink, so that's why I'm getting that. And I'll show you why. Here's the difference. This one has plenty of ink in it, and it's real wet. So, the only reason why... You're not seeing that same kind of wetness is because the ink is just about gone out. Let's do some upside down. Hopefully we can do it a little bit. And we're not going to try anymore. It would be too scratchy. And you would get like extra fine. Now you can do that all right. But it's really scratchy. Oh, it drives me nuts. Line variation. 
and you don't get you don't get any really and there you have it this is a short brief update on one of my newest members and the reason why I'm doing this this pen I sold last year so I can get other pens so I sold I had quite a few uh, of these pens because I really do like them I was collecting them but I had a chance to buy it back new so I bought it and real quick on the band of the pen it does have polar willows and on the back it does have the Van Gogh very nice palladium trim and uh, the uh, very nice clip the bridge that they speak of a lot you're going to hear that from Vascati folks uh, and on the finial on top it's got the Vascati logo on top and I'm trying to read all this here made in Italy so you got a real nice finial on top really nice palladium trim on it it really is a really beautiful pen the colors in the pen the greens and the browns and some of the yellow swirls that go through it and uh, some whites. You got all kind of different colors in here. It just makes it pen a truly beautiful fountain pen. If you would have this in your hands, you would say, you know what? The pen guy was right. Not only does it look great, but it writes great as well. Well, I won't keep you guys any longer than that. That's just a brief update on the pen I got back in my collection. Leave your comments below. Be safe. Talk to you guys later.